This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Hopefully you're okay. We'll take my seatbelt off. Ending off. We are just about to fill it with fuel. We're at a um, BP garage, so not BP, Shell. So um, let's go and uh, get some fuel. We also need to get rid of some bags. So we'll take these out. Lovely. So where are we? Um, we're in an, uh, it's a bit windy, aren't it? We're in a Shell garage uh, just off the western uh, Leicester bypass, I think it's just off the A6 and um, we're on our way up to Newark. We've got a load of steel on, I'll show you the steel in a sec. We're going to, I think it's ABM Fabrications and um, yeah, we've got to get rid of a load of steel, it's like a load of bent steel. I'll show you in a second. And then from there, we've got to go to Port of Risby to get loaded with timber. And then we've got two drops um, down in Worthing and Chichester on the south coast, which I'm hoping to get in this video. It'll probably be tomorrow. This is probably gonna be a two day. I think we'll see. We might get one off, maybe. Depends how quick they load us, because they can they can be quite slow there, and they can sometimes be quite fast. So it's very much touch and go. But let me show you the load. Let me show you the load. So we start on the front with five bolt bags. They've got um, basically it's all this inside it, basically five bolt bags. And then on the back, we just got loads of uh, loads of metal, basically. Uh, I've used plenty of straps. I've used I think five straps just on this lot. And then more back there as well, loads of it. I'm not going to go too far away because I need to be next to the fuel pump just in case, just in case it slips out. <laughs> no one likes to slip out, do they? So the plan is get uh, filled up with fuel here, get to Newark for eight o'clock. Um, hopefully we're out there in an hour, fingers crossed. And um, maybe at the Port of West Beach for 10 and hopefully we're out there by 12. Um, I don't think it's all going to be delivered today but um, we're gonna see what we can do. We're not gonna rush. Someone said um, on my last video that I mentioned too much about times and rushing around to get to places. This is gonna be a nice, chilled video. I'm not gonna talk too much about times. Maybe that bores, bores a lot of people, I don't know, but um, we're just gonna take it as it comes, man. We're gonna, we're gonna head up to Newark and get tipped, and then we're gonna take it from there, nice and slow. Anyway, fuel rise, it's just clicked off. Gonna get more in there. I was going to say we might get 350 litres, but it might be just under actually. Nice. Right, let's go pay. Let's go pay for fuel. Right, that's fuel paid for. Got myself a milkshake as well. Really doubly. We're back to the truck. Here's another angle of what we got on that. So it's like a load of rebar basically. It's actually very light. We're only eight tons in total. We've used loads of straps because I didn't just want to put one over this end and then like this end come out and you can't really put it in the middle. So I've used two straps and then I thought, wow, I'm going to do the ends as well, just in case. So I've, I've actually put like one, two, three, four there. One, two, three, four there. So I say nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I've used 16 straps on an eight ton load. <laughs> it's way, 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 way overkill, but better safe. It's not It's not the um, the weight I'm worried about. It's just it moving I'm worried about, so. Let's show. Anyway, we're gonna crack on. Okay, engine on. I'm gonna crack on to Newark. I'll probably see you as we are approaching. I'll see you there. Right, we are oh, just a mile away now. It's taken a while to get out of this junction. A mile away. There's uh, there's a few low bridges around here. There's a low bridge down there. I can't quite see what it is from here, the height wise. And there's one back there. We've got to be careful we don't go down the wrong road. <laughs> well, we're going to take a left here and then it's uh, just up the road on the right hand side, I think. We've got a siren somewhere. Another low bridge up ahead, but we're, we're lower than that and we're not going that far, 4.6. 
We're only going 0 0.8 miles up the road. So yeah, um, with this place, um, it's in a private estate and there's no, there's no like Google Street View. So where exactly they are on this estate, I don't actually know. So we're gonna have to drive around and have a look. We'll go in this one, ABM Precast Solutions. They got a teal colored logo. So we're looking for a teal colored company don't know where this place rings a bell though I think I've been here before but for a different company I'm I'm just gonna go where Google says they are on the map but it's just a big building Aha, uh -huh. ABM Precast Solutions, there's a port cab in there. Oh, we want to go reverse loop. I press the reverse button. ABM, this looks like it could be it. Hazards on, obviously we need to go and find someone, don't we, and just double check. There's a port cabin there, so I'm going to go speak to them in that port cabin and um, see where they want me. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, so <laughs> we need to go back. He said go back to the, the entrance that we come in and go down that road, but I think... We might be able to get down this way, potentially. If not, we'll turn round, but I'm pretty sure we can get there this way as well. Looking on Google Maps, this looks like a path that goes all the way around. Well, a road, rather, I should say. Uh, so it looks like they've got more than one area, storage area. That was just like the first one I saw. And they want this somewhere else, apparently. See, look, that says ABM over there as well, look. Oh, okay, this might be a one-way system. Oh no, can I get around here? No, that was, that's the other way in, over there. Ooh. Yeah, so that crane says ABM as well. Look. So it's like a lot of uh, ABM places around here. We've got to try and find the right one, the one that we need. That's a lot of ABM stuff. They actually told me a specific yard to go to, so that's the one I'm going to first. And then I'm just going to have to see if I can find someone. Aha, this looks promising. This is like the sort of stuff I've got on. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Where would you like me? <laughs> Somewhere else, yeah. <laughs> Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, what they're playing with there, I say playing with, you know, what they're working with is exactly the sort of stuff that, um, that I've got on, so good start. Well, not a good start, but good end, let's say. We're just going to plonk it here next to this trailer. <coughs> we'll probably start unstrapping it as well, so we're uh, ready to be tipped. I don't know where exactly they're going to be tipping me, that's the thing, but never mind. Never mind, there's some lovely trucks in here, right? Look, look at that. Truck in front. Yep, 
Lovely trucks. But yeah, we just park up here, we'll get these straps off, we're ready to go, and then when they want me somewhere, I'll um, move to that area, innit? But we're in the place, or the correct place now, anyway. Let's get these straps off. Well, I'm not sure how much I can film because they've got music playing, I don't want to get copyrighted strikes. <laughs> uh, but we are being tipped, and we're being tipped where we parked up as well, so uh, it's all good. Still being unloaded. Um, hopefully, it won't be too much longer. Fingers crossed. I think we're pretty much halfway there. So, I'm going to jump in the truck because it's quite windy. Cheers, mate. Right, we're tipped. We are tipped. We are tipped. Um, right, how old do we get out of here? I don't know whether I can go straight on or not. Hang on, let's have a quick look at Google Maps. What's around this corner? Clear left, clear right, clear left, clear right. Lovely. Let's lift that mid lift axle up. We might as well have stopped the show. <laughs> you two aren't even looking at the other one. Turn the radio down. Yeah, we can get out of here. This, um, when I come in here, this it looked a little bit familiar, but I don't think it is now. It did look a little bit like somewhere else I'd been to, but I don't think that's the case now. I think I was thinking of somewhere else. Anyway, we are now going to crack on to the port of Wisbeach. Uh, we should be there for just after 11 o'clock. I don't think we're going to leave by 12, but hey ho, whatever. We will do what we can do. We might get the first delivery off. Might. Um, but we won't know for sure. We won't know until we are loaded, we leave, and we actually know where we're going. And then um, and then we can come up with a plan of where we're going to park up, because whether or not we get the first one off, we'll determine where we're going to park up for the night. <laughs> right, let's crack on. I will see you once we're in Whiz Beach, and we'll probably be getting loaded, so I'll see you in a bit. Hello, we're being loaded. For you, it's going to feel like a mere few seconds in between this clip and the last but actually in real life i think we got here like 10 11 some of that it's nearly one o'clock in the afternoon we've been here for like two hours just waiting to get let in um it's been a long one but i just did a live stream on tiktok <sighs> did a live stream on tiktok for the last hour and a half that's how long we've been here but we're here now and we're being loaded. Ooh. And uh, yeah, let's get this on and make our way down south. I was thinking I probably, I won't get any of this off today now, but I'll probably park up at Shoreham. Uh, I, think, I think that's probably the best, best place to park. Right, so at the moment we've just got these packs on at the moment. That is for Chichester, that's a one drop for Chichester, all on one row. Now, I don't miss it. Why have I used three straps? Now, the reason I've used three straps is because on this side, if you look, you've actually got this odd little bit on the top, so I put two around there, and then one on here just to keep this end in. Uh, maybe over here, who knows, but better safe than sorry. So that's for the second drop, just that bit. The rest of it is gonna be for the first drop. Okay, here we are, fully loaded. So that's for the second drop, the rest of it's for the first drop. Don't actually know where we're going yet. That's, um, that's perfectly normal, we've got to go get our paperwork now. And um, once we've got our paperwork, we'll find out where exactly we're going. Doesn't matter, it's not getting delivered till tomorrow anyway now. It's four hours to get there from here. Wherever it is, 
we won't be there until gone six. So um, we'll uh, we head on down there and park up some of the and then deliver it in the morning. Let's go grab our paperwork. Okay, right. So we are loaded, we are strapped up, and we have our paperwork, and we're going to make our way down towards Worthing. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I just burped then. I've had nothing to eat today other than a, one of those grenade bars. That's all I've had all day today. And it's quarter past two now. Um, we, I don't know where I might stop tonight. I don't know. No idea. That GoPro's just finished on the on the dash facing outward. So you're going to have to make do with this one for now. Um, yeah, so I don't know where I'm going to park up tonight. Um, I'll get as far down as possible. And then we just um, we go from there. So I'm going to go. I will see you when we get there, wherever we park up tonight. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a little while. See you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, you join me in Brighton. I know you can't see me very well on the, uh, the dash cam face of me, but I am here. <laughs> you can see my silhouette. Um, we're in Brighton um, slash Worthing. And I'm hoping we can park um, where we normally park when we come down here, which is uh, near the port, along the seafront. However, it is nearly seven o'clock at night, and I don't know how busy it's going to be. It could be full. We've got 16 minutes left drive time before we need to have a break. Um, so if it is full, we just have to park up for a 30 minute break, and then go find somewhere else to park. Um, for the day, we're only on like seven and a half hours driving, so we can easily drive for another hour, hour and a half if we wanted to. We just got to um, have a break first, but I'm hoping that won't be uh, the case and that we can, I'm indicating right, but I do need both lanes to get around this corner and a car has decided he was gonna try and nip down the inside of me. No mate, I need both lanes to make this turn. And you can't see it, but the sea is right in front of us, but obviously it's uh, sort of dark in it, so I'm not going to see it. Lots of runners. Let's not run over any of the runners. Let them cross. There's, uh, I can see we're sort of indicating right, <laughs> indicating. Um, everyone else is crossing there, so I figured they would be as well. <laughs> right, we might have trouble parking up here. There might not actually be any room. In which case, we will have to just pull up on the road, hazards on, and have a break. It's quiet enough down here that it's not going to upset anyone. So we won't be able to stay on the road. Unless there is a space somewhere. Uh, there's a space here. Is it big enough? It's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit snug that. Uh, it's very snug that gap. Oh, I'll get in this gap, no problem. And there's loads of room down here as well. Lovely. We'll crack on down here a bit more. There we go. I just got to remember this um, code. 806727. 806727. That's the code we've got to put in when we're, uh, when we're paying for parking. 806-727. Right, we're gonna park up here. Hopefully in the morning, 
one of the one or two of these gates will be open and I just turn around and someone's gate. Right, let's quickly pay for parking. 826 727 Basin Road South HGV only. That's the one we want. And we're in L55, no sorry, L C55. And we want one day. Um, £17.70 to park here. I have had a ticket here before. Oh, well, I can turn this on now, can't I? I, um, I have had a parking ticket for parking here. Um, twice, actually. The first time, genuinely didn't pay for parking. Totally deserved the fine. The second time, I searched for nearby parking locations and it, it come up with the one down there for cars. And I was so tired that I just put that in. I was like, yeah, that'll do. And I paid for it and everything. And then they fined us, or tried to find us anyway, because we hadn't paid for this parking. We, in fact, paid for that parking down there. Anyway, we contested it. And we were like, no, we did pay for parking. The drivers obviously just pressed the wrong one. They let it slide. So that's good of them. Right, I'm going to do some end-of-day checks. Um, I know I've got some loose straps because I can see it flaying in uh, as I was coming down here. So I know I can do one or two of them up. Um, I'm going to do that and then I will probably see you guys in the morning um, at our delivery point. It's about 30 minutes away, give or take, so it's not, not too shabby. I've seen a bit. Right, we are in an awful lot of traffic. Morning, by the way. It is the next day. We're in a lot of traffic. We're struggling to get to this place. We just, we've hardly moved. Come on. It is the next day. Hope you're all well. Still. <laughs> uh, we had a good night's sleep. Um, yeah, nothing really more to report on that matter. It was a good night's sleep. Didn't get interrupted. And uh, it's the next day. It's the next day. Now, we're just around the corner from where we need to be. We actually need to be on the other side of the carriageway. Um, because we can't access it. We've got to turn right, but we can't access it from this side. So the next roundabout we come to, we've got to turn around. I believe it's uh, this right, yeah, it's that right there. We've got to go up there. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, that's taken a while to get through, but we are through. The annoying thing is, well, when we come back out, we have to go left, turn around and come back this way as well, I think. Right, better start indicating left. And in here we go. Oh, I don't see any trucks. Maybe they're further up, I don't know. The way he worded it, it was that um, there'd be trucks in my way, but I don't see any in my way. Just, it, your destination at it does look a little bit um, tight to reverse though. Is there someone here ready to stop me? Someone in a hive is, who's already looking at me. Go on, mate. He said go up here and turn around on the phone. So that is what I'm going to do. Yeah, loads of room up here to spin around. Look. Well, I say loads of room, not, not quite lots. I'm not going to spin around on the spot, I'm going to go down here and then reverse back. save my tyres a little bit, but also less chance of getting stuck. <laughs> Just need to get a good angle. Just 
spin it round. Yeah, you can see, or you can tell the ground's a little bit soft because I can really see my um, tire tread in the in the ground. So it's not like mud mud, but just enough to be careful about. And then we shall go forwards. Hazards on. I think we're going to park here on the left. Look, it looks like they're offload us on the road by the looks of it. Lovely jubbly. Right, we are in and all the straps are off except uh, these two. These two are for, well, sorry, these three are for the next drop. The rest of it, it's all coming off here in Worthing and then from and then from here we've been to uh, Chichester so uh, yeah nice drive down on the coast right we're tipped engine on oh before I go the sat nav is telling me to come out of here turn left then go immediately left again but it's called something lane so I just want to double check real quickly that I can actually fit down it yeah, it looks okay. It's an A road. Yeah, looks good. I will go there. I just, I, I wouldn't say I worry or panic, but I just, I got to double check that I can get down there because I don't want to end up on the news later. <laughs> right, first drop done. We have been here for over an hour. It's 20 past nine. We turned up at 8 o'clock. No, we turned up before 8 o'clock. It was like quarter to 8 we turned up. So we've been here an hour and a half. It's a long, a long time. Not what we wanted. <laughs> but never mind, it is what it is. We're, um, we're going to crack on now to Chichester. And we've got hardly anything to come off at Chichester. We should hopefully be there for like 10 minutes tops. Hopefully we're not going to be there very long. I don't want you talking to me. I hate it when sat navs are on and they give directions. I know that's like the whole point of them, but it, it does wind me up. We can make this. There we go. Yeah, no, it winds me up when people um, on like other creators have <laughs> their tom tom telling them where to go and the noise it just bugs me so i always have mine turned off i don't like it not a fan anyway we're gonna head to chichester we're only half an hour away from chichester so we'll get there get this off and then uh, i'll see you when we get there i'll see you in a bit okay we are now at the second place good rows of chichester um not got a lot to come off on this one. Oh, bloody hell, the strap's got stuck in here. It's literally just a one row. It's like one, two, three, four, five pallets. So yeah, not, not too much to come off, which is pretty decent. Put these uh, ratchets away. There you go, we use three straps on this one. Just because it had uh, the extra one on the top, so I thought I'd better just put an extra one on just to be safe. It hasn't budged. It is probably worth mentioning that actually I have had to do these up a few times on the way. Well, when I parked up last night, for example, got out, double checked, um, did them all up. So just keeping on top of it all, make sure they're all tight all the time. But um, yeah, nothing fell off. That's the main thing. Lovely. Okay, and there we go. Last bit's coming off now. He just wants me to go back a bit, so I'm gonna jump in the truck and move back. Okay, very, very noisy machine. See that window up. So we are being tipped right now, which is pretty awesome. Like I said, luckily, we ain't got much to come off at this run, so um, we're not gonna, it's not gonna take too long to get tipped. It means now we have the rest of the day to continue on with what we have planned. But that is going to be the end of this video. 
Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. From now, um, I'll let you know what we've got to do. I've got to go from here in Chichester. The bases don't get loaded with Czech pallets. That's got to go to even mouth. It's a bit boring. It's stuff that we've seen all before. I'm not going to include it in this video. Plus, I'm not sure how long this video already is. It might be long enough. So, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. It's been over a couple of days, a night out, uh, a, a delivery, a collection, two deliveries. It's been good. So, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching.